Hello everyone, Monty here from IG. This time around, we're going to take a look at the platform and uh, go through the layout so you can go ahead, put your username and password. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to log in and start taking a look at it. So in this case, when you do log in, the first thing that's going to come up is the dashboard. And here you're going to see a list of your accounts if you have more than one account or sub accounts, for example, or a demo account. In this case, you can see that I've got some of my accounts here. Um, no funding in this case we're just taking a look at it for testing reasons and you can see at the bottom there's a demo account here's where if there is no demo account you can apply for a demo account right there on the uh, dashboard but in this case uh, we're going to click on open platform so that we can get right to it and uh, first thing you're going to see is your new workspace you're going to see it right there this is where all the action is going to happen you're going to see a lot you know you're going to place your charts here and stuff but before we do all that what we want to do is we want to go through all these items on the left on the top you know in the corner and we're going to go ahead and, and go through them one by one before we get into placing trades. So let's start at the top over there. You can see that funds, profit, loss, that sort of thing. You can see there's a check. When I click on it, there's a check next to all those items. And that means that they're up there. If you, if you don't want it, you can actually remove it by clicking on it. Uh, like there, I click on it and, and the funds is gone. But if you want it there, you can put it there. You can also put equity and equity used. And, and what some of these items mean, we'll go through it when we place trades in future videos. But for now, these items will be up there and they'll let you know where you stand in terms of your funding, profit, P, your PL, your profit loss, open profit loss as well when you've got open trades. Now, what about if you want to go ahead and manage your funds? This is a demo account, so you can change the amount and you can say, all right, you know what, I want to put, I want to start a new trading plan and I want to start with a new amount of money. So I want to start with $10,000, for example. You can set it and you can see that right there, that box over there where your funds and everything, it's at $10,000. So you can change it accordingly for a demo account, not for a live. You got your ad funds there. If you want to increase your funding, this is also applicable in case of a live account. There's a one-click trading. This is going to mean more when we get into the trading side of things but basically this is going to make it easier if you want one click dealing to be able to place trades and and we'll go through it when we get to trading uh, if for those of you who want to look at some certain uh, frequently asked uh, questions or if you want to reach out in terms of contact and things like that you can go over there if you want to log out go through uh, my ig and, and the history of trades then this is where you would this would be the ideal place to do it in the corner over there you can see there's notifications and tweets if you click on notifications there's uh IG live you know there'll be some live videos that are going to be coming through but if you want to look at some tweets as it's happening so while you're looking at your charts things from like Reuters um, CNBC so on and so forth you can go ahead it, they'll appear accordingly so let's put that away for now and let's go to the left side and let's go through all these items over here so starting at the top if you want to search for a product you could just go over there and put for example euro USD and right there it's going to come up and you can click on it and the chart and all these things and we're going to go more in detail in, in, in future videos but let's go through all these subcategories that exist in one case you got indices you got for example you know the, the, the popular ones like the DAX the Germany 30 Wall Street or the Dow FTSE 100 you know NASDAQ US Tech 100 S&P 500 so on and so forth so if you want to have these if you don't want to have to search for and just look at it they'll all be right there if you want to look at the FX majors in one spot you can go ahead and do that you know GDP USD Euro USD these are all the popular ones you got the miners um, you know you scroll down you scroll down and you got some other crosses so um, moving on, we got cryptocurrencies, we got Bitcoin, Ethereum, we also have our own Crypto 10 index. So again, if you want to take a look at it overall as a sector, you can see how it's performing. You can click on it, take a look at the charts, and you can even place trades from here, which we will do in future videos. Those of you interested in, 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 in shares like Tesla, it's been on a, on a run, and, you, and you're and you interested in either looking at it or trading it, that's something you can do from here as well. Or for example, recently Netflix had their earnings, you can click on them and take a look at their share price as well. So again, that's if you don't want to go to the search commodities you know oil has been very volatile as of late same as uh, when you look look uh, below at precious metals gold silver so on and so forth we even got soft commodities as well those of you who like to trade bonds for example the US 10-year um, Treasury or the German Bund these are also available you can look at them over here exchange traded funds uh, and finally options now what if you want to uh, place or you want to go ahead and, and specifically create a watch list that's going to have all your products. Here you can actually go ahead and create a watch list of your own. So 
there's one already here called My Watch List, which has a bunch of items over there. And you can add and you can remove stuff accordingly. Um, in this case, for example, if we don't want aluminum, you right click, go to Remove from My Watch List. And in this case, when you click on it, you can see that it's going to be gone. So we're going to create our own watch list in this case. Let's call it uh, Watch List Monty. And one second. So as you can see, we have a new watch list and we can add stuff to it. And it tells you how to do that. It says, you know, you, you simply go to a market name, you right click on it and you go to add to a watch list and you pick the watch list that you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's look for a product and let's add it to my watch list, watch list Monty. Let's go to FX, um, take GBP USD. Uh, that's a fun one. Add to watch list. So I right click watch list Monty. And now when I go to uh, watch list, and I go ahead and click on Watch List Monty, you can see that GBP USD is right there. And if I don't want it anymore, well, I just I can go ahead and right click and remove from Watch List. So now it's gone. Also, on the left side, you'll see that it's also there, Watch List Monty. So I don't need to go to Watch List every time. My Watch List is there. And um, if you want to get rid of, if I don't want my Watch List anymore, if I just want to have one, I can delete the Watch List and click back on the workspace, it's gone, it's no longer there on the left, now I just have my watch list as, as the main one right there. And I can add it to the workspace, if I want to, every day I want to log in and I just want to see the main items on my watch list, see where it's at, the percentage change, you can go ahead and do that, or you can remove it, for example, and um, let's go ahead and pick something like EURUSD, I can also put a chart onto the workspace by clicking on the right there and you can see that you can drag it around and you can expand you can then put it back close it so on and so forth and, and organize accordingly let's go continue to scroll down the list we got popular markets um, these are the popular indices gold things like that recently traded uh, on this demo account you can see some of the products as well um, when we get into trading, we're going to know a lot more about this section, and that's when it comes to your trading positions. Now, right now, because I haven't placed it a trade, I have no open positions. But when I do, it's going to be there, and it's important to know what trades you have open. But it's also important to know what working orders you have. If you set up any limit orders, uh, so for example, to buy at a certain price, that's going to be there, and you can remove accordingly. Those of you wanting to look at your trading history, you can do so on my IG. And if you want to set up alerts in terms of price, uh, reaching a certain level or even if indicators reach a certain level you can do that as well up next news and analysis so we got top news you some of my articles will be here as well under analysis so you can go ahead and choose the items that you want to look at we also have some signals from third-party providers but as the uh, as it says below um, this doesn't constitute investment advice and uh, no warranty is given in this regard or in terms of its accuracy. So that's something you want to test on the side in terms of whether or not you want to rely on it. We also have an economic calendar, and this will take you to a website on IG.com. And in this case, you can see that they're going to be the main items in terms of their impact as well. But let's move on to settings. And one thing you can do, an interesting item here, is you can switch to dark. And that's if, you know, if it's nighttime and, and it's not going to be as clear, you can go ahead and let me show an example. You can see that the background is going to be dark. So we can switch back to light right now. And these are some of the settings that you have over here in terms of alerts, um, in terms of uh, netting off or force open, items that we will go through when we get into trading. So let's go back and let's click on one of the products like EURUSD. Let's add it to the workspace. Let's expand. And as you can see, we're we are going to go through this in much more detail in the next video. but for now, you can organize accordingly. You can place. You can have more than one chart. So in this case, we have a EURUSD mini, but we can also place many more next to it, and so on and so forth. Let's scroll up to the top though, and you can see that you can create more than one workspace. So I have one here for soft commodities. This is just for me to. I look at some of these soft commodities from time to time. I have another one, for example, on, on a certain walkthrough. So you know, you click on that and you have another set. So here I've got Euro and Gold, and then I can go back to my workspace, the one that we were working on, Euro USD. So you can create multiple workspaces. Or you can just go ahead and delete the workspace that you don't need. So from all of us here at IG, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.